Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with David Domlin. He is Director of Enterprise at HubSpot. Welcome, David. Thank you, Gerhard. Good to meet you. HubSpot has earned the Guinness Book of World Records for <laughs> most attendees to a webinar. Yes, uh, we have what we call a uh, social media scientist. His name is Dan Zarella. And uh, he's put on, um, he put on a webinar on the science of social media. Um, Guinness Book of World Records was in our office. It was actually a funny story because it was at the same time there was a little, little earthquake in Boston. And um, the power went out in Cambridge. It was one of those minimal uh, earthquakes that nobody ever feels, but you know, everyone in the news reported it. So we had power outage for the first five minutes of the webinar. And uh, we made a joke about it that, oh, because we have... 30,000 some odd people, and we just broke the Guinness Book of World Records for people at a business webinar. Uh, we started an earthquake in Boston, so it was fun. <laughs> there were really 30,000 people on the webinar? I believe, I, I can't remember the exact number. I think it was um, somewhere in the neighborhood of like 15 to 16,000 that attended. I know we had uh, registered attendees of well over 30 or 40,000. Uh, for Dan Zarell, that's pretty typical for him. You are director of enterprise sales. Yep. And uh, explain the structure, how you're related to marketing. Yeah, that's a great question. So at HubSpot, <clears throat> what we do is we break every division up based on um, the types of businesses we sell to. So we have a very small business team, we have a small business team, we have a mid-market team, we have an enterprise team, uh, we have a VAR or a reseller team. And then every division has a, uh, a sales director, um, <clears throat> sales reps, uh, a marketer, so like a chief marketing officer of that one division. So we have a marketer who basically she runs all the marketing for enterprise. Uh, she does all our lead nurturing workflows. Um, she sets up um, campaigns for us so we can bring in enterprise leads and generate the right job roles for those leads. And um, overall, the, her role is to keep feeding the machine uh, qualified leads, and because she's using HubSpot, uh, I don't need to tell you that. We drink our own champagne. Uh, we don't have a problem generating high-quality leads uh, early and often for the reps. David, explain the customer happiness index that you've <laughs> created. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we created an algorithm that we call Qi, Customer Happiness Index, and it, it really helps us define what is a happy, successful customer. Um, Based on the algorithm, we know uh, how often somebody logs in, uh, how many leads they generate, um, how many more visitors or spike in visitors they get to their site, or how many more emails get open, or how, better, how well they're lead nurturing, or how many leads increase in lead score. All of that factors into a algorithm. And um, on a weekly basis, the entire company, we send out weekly dashboards that says who's in the top chi and who's in the bottom chi. Um, <clears throat> if you're in the bottom chi, you're getting a call. And we're going to say, hey, did, did you go on vacation? Everything okay? Uh, what can we help you with? Um, and typically that's sometimes really what it is. We have a very low um, churn rate at HubSpot. So if someone goes on vacation, they might drop their chi a little bit. Um, whereas if they have a high chi, we're going to call and say congratulations and um, see if they like to be a case study. Awesome. Well, David, thank you very much. Uh, if you need any more information, go to HubSpot.com. And uh, final quick question, what's the best white paper you have on your site? <clears throat> That's a great question. My favorite white paper right now um, is the one on lead nurturing. Um, it's, a, uh, it's basically the science of lead nurturing. And uh, if you go to HubSpot.com and you click really anywhere, it's really it's very difficult. It's not difficult right. to find. So. I love your content. <laughs> You're almost better than any publishing company I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, David. All right, thank you very much.